good day students and a big hello to everyone watching around the Philippines. I'm Teacher Joven, your Technology and Livelihood Education teacher. In this series of episodes, we'll be focusing on one of the Philly strands under the industrial art and that is electrical insulation and maintenance. This aims to prepare you students who will soon be part of the global workforce in the field of electrical insulation and maintenance. So bring out your pen and paper and join me as you build your knowledge towards a better future, one skill at a time. Welcome to TLE9. Okay class, welcome to the introduction. In electrical installation and maintenance, this is the first module of the first quarter and our topic is all about requesting tools, equipment, and materials. So our objectives on this topic, we will be able to identify the right tools and equipment for the task. So make sure that at the end of this lesson, you are already familiar on the different uh, tools, equipment, and materials and you will be able to identify the right tools and equipment for the task. And secondly, we have determined the materials needed for electrical installation. But before we proceed to our topic, we will have first a pre-test. So we're going to test your previous knowledge if, if you remember some concepts on this, uh, on this course. Direction. Listen carefully to the questions and select the correct answer from the choices by writing the letter only. So you're going to write your answer in your activity sheets. Write only the letter of your choice. And you only have 5 seconds in each item. Okay, no cheating. This is just a pretest. Okay, let's start with the first question. So we have number one, single slot head is for flat screwdriver and hexagonal slot head is for what? What tool? A. Allen screwdriver B. Flat screwdriver C. Phillips screwdriver and D. That is stubby screwdriver So you only have 5 seconds to answer this question Your time starts now Okay, time's up. If your answer is A, Allen screwdriver, then you are correct. So the answer for number one is A. I kindly check your work. Okay, number two. Are you ready? Number two. Which of the following does not belong to the group? Which of the following does not belong to the group? So you have the choices. Five seconds and your time starts now. If your answer is A, then you are wrong. The correct answer is a stubby screwdriver. So the answer for number two is D, stubby screwdriver. Let's proceed to number three. Below are examples of pliers that can be used to bend wires, except so you have the choices and you have 5 seconds to answer this question. Your time starts now. If your answer is slip joint pliers, you are wrong. The correct answer is side cutting pliers. So the answer for number three is B, side cutting pliers. Number four. Question number four, LB is assigned to create a loop of wire in an extension cord. What is the best tool to have the job done? So you have the choices 
and you have 5 seconds. Your time starts now. If your answer is combination pliers, then you are wrong. If your answer is all of the above, that is also wrong. The correct answer is a long nose pliers. So the answer for number 4 is B. Okay, number 5. Mr. Dominguez is scanning several wires. If he wants to do it faster, what tool can be used for efficiently doing this or doing so? So you have the choices and you have 5 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay, let's check. If your answer is electrician's knife, then you are wrong. If your answer is all of the above, you're also wrong. Because the correct answer is letter A, a wire stripper. So for number 5, the answer is A. Check your answer. Number 6. Jessica would like to get the exact distance of utility box from the junction box with approximately more than 2 feet apart. What tool is appropriate to use? You have 5 seconds and your time starts now. Okay, let's check. If your answer is roller, it is A, that is wrong. Because the correct answer is D, a push-pull rule. Push-pull rule. So for number 6, the answer is D. Let's proceed to number 7. Which of the following are types of switches? Which of the following are types of switches? So you have 5 seconds and your time starts now. Okay, let's check. If your answer is A, you are wrong. If your answer is B, you're also wrong. If your answer is C, it's also wrong because the correct answer is all of the above. Okay, the answer is all of the above. For number 7, the correct answer is letter B. Number 8. There are available types of convenience outlet available in the market, except So you have the choices and you have 5 seconds to answer. Your time starts now. If your answer is D, then you are wrong because the correct answer is hanging. That is letter B. Let's proceed to number 9. Number 9, it can be seen inserted in the convenience outlet. What electrical materials is being described? So you have the choices. 5 seconds. Your time starts now. If your answer is C, mail plug, then you are correct. So the correct answer for number 9 is letter C. Number 10. A flat cord is composed of several wires inside its insulation. Therefore, it is a blank. You have 5 seconds and your time starts now. Okay, let's check. If your answer is C, stripped wire, you are wrong. If your answer is D, bare wire, you're also wrong. The correct answer is not a solid wire. That is stranded 
Why? So the correct answer for number 10 is letter B. Stranded wire. Okay. Uh, get the total of the correct answer. Did you get 7 out of 10? Okay, that's the passing score. 7 out of 10. If you get it uh, 6 below or 7 below, then you need to listen to the discussion need to uh, uh, you need to watch throughout this video so that you will learn different concepts so that on the next test you will get a perfect score of 10 okay now let's do this okay before we proceed really to the to our topic we will have first a review on the sources of electricity so let's start with this first picture are you familiar with this okay this is a solar power or they call this one a solar panel these are the the picture shows a solar panel so it produces electricity by means of collecting the ray of sunlight and they converted the sol the rays of sunlight or the heat of the sunlight into electricity that is by means of the solar panel so that is a solar power one of the source of our electricity so in this picture this is the Karatagan solar power plant in the Philippines in the Philippines are located in Luzon with 200,000 China solar so that imagine it's 200,000 solar panels Okay, so this produces a huge amount of electricity in Doson. So that is solar power. The next one. Okay, maybe you're so familiar with this. This is a wind turbine. This is a wind turbine. Okay, this is a wind power. Okay, wind a wind power plant. Or so by the use of by the use of these wind turbines. It converted the air, the air, the wind, into electrical power or electricity. This, uh, this picture, this is this is uh, the solar, the wind farm in Burgos, that is in Ilocos Norte. This is one of the source of their electricity. That is the wind uh, turbines in Ilocos Norte. Okay, next picture. Okay, maybe you are so familiar with this. When you went to Ormok, okay, you can see uh, this uh, smoke, or a smoke, this steam in the mountainside of Ormok or Kananga. So we are so familiar with this. Uh, it is located in Tongonan, Ormok or Tongonan Kananga. So this is a geothermal power so one uh, this is our source of electricity in the Visayas the Visayas that is geothermal power that is the PNOC the, the former PNOC and now the EDC the Energy Development Corporation so this is from this picture is from Malitbog Geothermal Power Station located in Malitbog Kananga Leyte so this is our source of electricity it produces 200 32.5 megawatts geothermal power plant or we call this one as earth steam turbine electric generator so this is our source of electricity here in Visayas the geothermal power plant in Tongonan next we have okay we have this water we have this dam okay this is a hydroelectric power hydroelectric power the flow of waters are converted into electricity or electric power this picture is in Pulangi Dam in Pulangi River near Maramag in Bukidnon that is on the Mindanao on the Mindanao part of the Philippines so again it converted the flow of the waters into electric power so we call that one as a hydroelectric power. This is one of the sources of electricity in the part of Mindanao. The hydroelectric power. 
the next one. This is a nuclear power plant. It's nuclear power. In the Philippines, we have a nuclear power plant. But sad to say, it is not operational. This picture is on Bataan Nuclear Power Plant. It is a nuclear power plant completed but never fueled on Bataan Peninsula. That is 100 kilometers west of Manila in the Philippines. So that is not that uh, the power plant is completed but never fueled. So wala pa siya nag-operate yun. Totally ang Bataan Nuclear Power Plant. But there are plans of the government that they're going to uh, fuel this one and that it will become opera operational. Okay, next we have we have this burning we have this burning power plant. We have this coal-fired power plant. Okay, the coal uh, ooling, okay, the fire is converted into a an electric power. So that is a coal-fired power plant. Now, this picture is on the Therma South Incorporated coal-fired power plant in Barangay Binugao, Turil District, Dabao City. So this is one of the sources of electricity in the part of Davao. Okay, so did you enjoy? Did you familiarize different the different sources of electricity? So in this uh, in this particular topic, we already mentioned six sources of electricity. So I hope that you will remember this one because this is very important, the very basic. When someone asks you, where do we get our electric uh, our electricity, our electric power? So this are came from the uh, power plants, uh, power plants like geothermal, coal-fired, nuclear, and so on and so forth. Okay. So now we're going to have our topic for today. That is uh, our topic in this lesson. It takes about tools, equipment, and Material. So we're going to familiarize the different tools, equipment, and materials. So let's start with the uh, tools. Remember that electrical tasks can be accomplished systematically to save time, effort, and resources. Most of the work cannot be done using our bare hands. So most of the work cannot be used, uh, cannot be done using our bare hands. We need tools or equipment, materials, so that it will become uh, time saving, okay, so that uh, it will make our life uh, easier in doing the task. And to do the task, electrical tools or materials are needed to perform the job. Okay, let's start with the tools, the different electrical tools, the very familiar tools in uh, used by an electrician or an electrical uh, practitioner. Okay, let's start with the screwdriver. So we are we are very familiar with these screwdrivers. Okay, the screwdrivers, these are tools are made of steel, hardened and tempered at the tip used to loosen or tighten screws with slotted heads. They come in various sizes and shapes. So, the function of screwdrivers are to loosen or tighten screws with slotted heads. So, let's start with uh, this screwdriver. So, first we have this Phillips screwdriver. Phillips screwdriver, we have this picture. Maybe you are so familiar with this. So, a Phillips screwdriver has a cross tip resembling a positive sign. That is cross. Ang iyang maabling na screw dapat na i-cross. Uh, cross tip. Okay? Or cross lat heads. So, ang atong gamiton is a Phillips screwdriver. Okay. Next one, we have the flat screwdriver. And we have this picture. A flat screwdriver, the blade tip is wedge shape and resembles a negative sign. Kung ang Phillips screw is positive sign, Ang flat screwdriver is a negative sign. So, this used to drive screws with a single slat head. So, single slat heads, yeah. 
Philip Screw is a cross slat head. Next one, we have the stubby screwdriver. Stubby screwdriver, it comes in either standard or the flat screw or the Phillips screw with short shank or blade and shorted handle. So, pwede, mura siya, mura siya og screwdriver, mura po siya og Phillips screwdriver, pero mas mubo siya. Okay, what's the function of this uh, shorted blade and shorted handle? It used to turn screws in tight spaces. In, it used to turn screws in tight space. Where standard screwdriver cannot be used. Oh, kanang mga piot nga lugar. So, muni siya pang kuot niya, pang abli sa screw. If dili masigo ang standard nga flat screwdriver or Phillips screwdriver. Okay, next we have the Allen screwdriver. We have this picture. Allen screwdriver, this could be in the shape of screwdriver or a wrench that is function is to drive a screw with hexagonal slot head. So, hexagonal siya. Ang maabli sa Allen screwdriver is a hexagonal slot head. Ang maabli sa Phillips screwdriver is a cross slot head. Ang maabli sa flat screwdriver is a single slot head. Okay, that's the difference between these three tools okay let's proceed to the pliers how uh, we're also familiar with this the common tool in, ele in electrical installation pliers pliers are made of metal with insulators in the handle they are used for cutting twisting bending and holding wires and cables so maybe you are familiar with this picture Okay, we call this one as combination pliers or commonly ang tawag sa ito okay, is splice. So, makikita tayo nga is splice ang tawag. Okay, the, the exact term is combination pliers. Usually called as lineman's pliers. So, muna siyang gamitin sa mga lineman or mga electrician. Used to hold, bend, and cut electrical wires and cables. So, the function, the, the major function of Alignment plier or a combination plier is used to hold. Pwede siya pang bend and pwede po siya pang cut. That is why gitawag siya nga combination. Okay, because it could hold, bend, and cut electrical wires and cables. Okay, next kind of plier is a side cutting pliers. Side cutting pliers. So from the term itself, side cutting, it is used to cut. So, the only function of the side cutting pliers is to cut. It's also called as a diagonal pliers. This type of pliers is used only for cutting small to medium size of wires. It is not advisable to use this for bending. It is also not advisable to use this side cutting pliers in splicing. It's only intended for cutting only. Cutting small to medium size of wires. Okay, next we have the long nose pliers. The long nose pliers may be very familiar with this. It is the same with the combination pliers, but it has a long nose or long tip. Okay, we call this one. There's some. There's some. Call this one as a needle nose pliers. Are both cutting and holding pliers used by artisans, jewelry designers. Electricians, network engineers, and other tradesmen to bend, reposition, and snip wire. So, the very, uh, the very important uh, feature of this long nose plier, it could be used in uh, tight spaces on the narrow holes. So, if you want to get something in the narrow holes, so you can use long nose pliers because of its. Uh, Elongated, elongated tip. Okay, next, we have the slip joint pliers. So, from the term itself, slip joint, the joint could be slip so that we can uh, we can increase the range of the jaws. So, our pliers with those pivot point or fulcrum can be moved to increase the size range. Okay, you're going to move the fiber point or the fulcrum 
so that it could increase the range of their jaws para mas dako siya og nganga compared sa mga common nga pliers like combination pliers sa slip joint tires pwede siya gamiton sa mga mga dagko nga screws so dagko nga mga nuts okay next we have the hammers hammers are tools most often often a hand tool or most often a hand tool consisting with a weighted head fixed to a long handle that is swung to deliver an impact to deliver an impact to a small area of an object in short ang hammer is pang dukduk pang drive sa mga lansang or staple okay the first kind of hammer is a claw hammer claw hammer so one is yeah very common gamiton sa mga carpenters claw hammer a special type of hammer which is used in pounding nails pang dukduk striking uh, pang bunal and then extracting pwede po siya pang ibot of some object or surface especially nails or staples okay next we have the ball pin hammer the ball pin hammer in our term gitawag ni siya nga de bola okay ang iyang pikas nga side is mura siya og bola gamay nga bola so also known as the machinist hammer gamito ni siya sa mga machinist this type of pinning hammer used in metal working and it has two heads one flat and the other called the pin or rounded okay it's a ball pin hammer so we have two kinds of hammer is uh, mentioned in this topic we have the claw hammer and the ball pin hammer next we have the saw saw it is a tool consisting a top blade wire or chain with a hard tooth edge it is used to cut through material very often wood though sometimes metal or stone So, so, sa ato pa nagitawag din siya nga gabas or sirotso. So, first we have this hand saw. Ano siya ang sirotso? It is a tool that used to cut wood or plastic. So, pwede siya pang cut sa wood, sa kahoy, pwede po siya pang cut sa plastic. So, you can use the hand saw or the common yung gamito niya saw or gabas. Next, we have the hack saw. Hack saw, the special, uh, the special feature of this hack so it could cut metal this is this tool is used to manually cut metal or pvc conduits and other metals so ang tawagin ato sa to atong term is gabas puthaw gabas sa puthaw pwede siya pang puturo mga puthaw that is hack so next we have the strippers strippers are portable handheld tools used by electricians For removing the protective coating of an electric wire in order to replace or repair the wire. So, pang panit, pang tang-tang sa insulator sa wire. That is wire strippers. First, we have the manual wire stripper. So, manual. Okay, this is the picture of a manual uh, wire stripper. Has round holes that corresponds, corresponds to wire size. Removing of insulation is done while squeezing and pulling out wire. That is why it's called manual because you're going to squeeze and you're going to pull, pull it out. So that can also be used in to cut medium size or medium size copper wires. Again, it's called a manual wire stripper because you're going to squeeze and your other hand will be pulling. Okay, that is why it's called a manual wire stripper. If we have manual, we also have automatic wire stripper. This is the picture, operated by squeezing only. So you don't need to pull the wire in order to remove the the insulator. But in this case, it's automatic by simply squeezing. Then it will remove the insulation. It has spring to retain the original position. Again, we have the manual. We manual. We have the automatic wire stripper. Then we also have the electrician's knife. It can be also used in stripping. Pang panit sa wire. Iba kung silyo. Kung nai wire ato ipatimbang ato ipa ang ang ato kano ng bronze. Pita magamit ng kutsilyo. Or we can use the electrician's knife. Used to remove insulation of big and small wires when wire stripper cannot be used. In the absence of wire stripper, automatic or manual, you can use knife in removing the insulation of big and small wires. 
Okay, next we have the benders. Benders are tools used to bend different materials such as iron, copper, and stainless steel to form various angles and curves. Okay, so para makaform daw ang angles and curves, you need bender. Pang bend or pang baug. So first we have the pipe bender, pang baug sa tubo. So we have this picture, a tool used to bend rigid rigid metallic conduit by the use of hands and or foot. So pwede tiil, gamitin pwede pud kamot. So pipe bender ang tawag niya. They also have hydraulic pipe bender. So katang ganina is mura mabutang siya nga manual but hydraulic pipe bender mura siya automatic. So by the, by simply squeezing this type of bender uses hydraulic pressure to bend various sizes of metallic pipes. Next we have the electrical testers. Electrical electrical testers are devices that can measure a variety of electrical parameters from current, voltage, resistance, continuity and beyond. So first we have the tester screwdriver. It's a handheld tool that is used to determine whether electricity is flowing through circuitry. So ato masabdan ko na ay kurente kay musigan asya kani. So na siya gamay nga bulb. So, kung musiga na siya, pa sa bot na ay kurinti. So, bawal, gunitan, kaya na ay kurinti. Of din siya musiga, it means walay electricity nga nag-flow ni anak nga wire. Okay, that is the tester screwdriver. Or, we call this one, in our term, we call this one as screw tester. Next, we have the multi-met- uh, multimeter and multi-tester. So, we have these two kinds of multimeter or multi-tester. We have the digital on this uh, right side and we have the digital on the left uh, we have the analog on the left side okay which mo- which is more efficient so mas efficient ang digital kay automatic na kung sa mabutang niya nga reading muna ang reading sa electricity nga nagflow ng uh, circuit okay and electrical test instruments which is used to measure voltage current resistance frequency and signal power mong kitawag siya nga multi tester because it can measure uh, voltage, current, resistance, frequency, and signal power. So, multi siya. Daghan siya functions. Pag-measure sa voltage, pag-measure sa current, pag-measure sa resistance, pag-measure sa frequency o signal power. Okay, next, let's move on to the equipment. So, we're done with the tools, different tools, and we are now on the equipment. So, equipment, first, we have the hard hat. So, hard heart is a type of helmet predominantly used in workplace environments such as industrial or construction sites to protect the head from injury due to falling objects. In fact, with other objects, the breeze, rain, and electric shock. So, dapat magsulot og helmet, especially kung na ay mga nagtrabaho sa babaw. Kung wala, kung tragwala helmet. Pero mas maayo na helmet ka. Basig na yung mahulog na tools or equipment sa babaw, at least di lima injury ang atong ulo. Next, we have the goggles. So, ang goggles, these are protective eyewear. So, muna siya mag-protect sa itong mata. Usually, enclose or protect the area surrounding the eye in order to prevent particulates. So, para, kanang di ka mapuling, Okay, kung ba mapiskan o tubig, mapiskan o chemicals ang imong mata, so you will use goggles. Okay. Ang uban, tawag ani kay sunglass, bisa clear. Ang uban, eyeglass. So, pwede po siya tawag eyeglass, pwede siya tawag niya clear glass. O, general term is a goggle. Goggles. Dili goggle nga pang search siya. Goggles. Protective eyewear. Next, we have the dust mask. It's a flexible paper pad held over the nose and mouth by elastic or rubber straps for personal comfort against the non-toxic noise and dust. So, we are so familiar with this. Dust mask. Ibutang na siyag dust, pero that is a mask. Or that is an that is a KN95 mask or it could be a KF94 nga mask. Basta, maka, ma-filter niya ang mga abog o mga particulates. Uh, para dili mo direct direct sa tong ilong. Okay? Next, we have the safety belt. So, kinahanglan niya mag safety belt or harness. So, kitawag lang ang harness. We have 
It is a device that is worn around the person's waist to serve as a direct connection point to a lifeline or elevated structure. So, money siya. Safety belt, ibutan siya sa waist, sa hawak. And then, uh, na siya strap na mo mugunit. It could be on the electric post or any object na pwede siya ni mo ibutan to. Higot. Para dili ka ma hulog. Okay. Next, we have the rubber gloves. So, we are, we are very familiar with these gloves. Pang sulot sa kamot. Used for, work, for working on equipment which may or may not be live. These gloves provide protection against electric shock. So, para dili ka makurintihan, magamit ka og rubber gloves. Ayaw paggamit ka ng dili rubber gloves kay uh, basing mula po sa ito ang kuryente. But on the rubber, dili siya, dili siya makaflow ang electricity. Okay, next, we have the work boots. So, work boots or sa ito nga term, that is sapatos. It prevents from, ge- from, from getting foot injuries due to slippery surface, heavy falling or rolling objects, sharp pers- piercing edges, pinch points, rotary machinery, hat objects, loops of ropes, under tension, splinters, electricity, and etc. So, dapat mag sapatos pag magtrabaho. Especially pag naay mga mga bugat nga mga butang nga mahulog na pwede maipit ang imong tiil so make sure that we use these work boots some of these work boots is steel too kanang putaw ang iyang kanang tapit sa tubangan kaya para kung na mahulog ng object dili maipit ang imong tiil okay next we have finally we have the materials so we're going to talk only uh, tools equipments and materials the last the last part of our topic, the materials. So we're going to familiarize different materials. Uh, first, we have the breakers or the main switches. So, breakers, an automatically operated electrical switch designed to protect an electrical circuit from damage caused by excess current from an overload or short circuit. So, sa ito mga balay, naani siya breaker. Kung mo na pag mo ng breaker, tanang tibok, pala ni mo mapaong. So, just the main switch. So, we have two types of breaker. We have the safety breaker. Karang naan na siya yung casing. And we also have the circuit breaker. Karang itaot sa mga panel boards. Okay. Next, we have the switches. Switches are component that can disconnect or connect conducting path into electrical circuit. So, mo siya ang mag-on or mag-off sa atong mga lightings. Okay. So, we have three types of switches. First, we have the flash type. Okay, kanang pang siminto, pang lumong siminto niya, flat lang siya. Okay, flash type ang tawagan. Ha? We also have this surface type. Kanang sa pang gamitin sa mga pangkahoy. So, surface type siya kay ubok do siya, ubak nal. Kaya surface type. Then, we also have the hanging type switch. Kanang kasagaran gamitin sa mga ceiling fan. Kanang barigya sa mga muslim, muslim, muslim. So, hanging type nga switch. Okay, we had the flash type, the surface type, and the hanging type. Next, we have the convenience outlet or saksakan. So, a device that acts as convenient source of electrical electrical energy for current consuming appliances. It is where the male plug of an appliance is inserted and usually fastened in the wall or connected in extension cord. So, nga ni isaksak ang male plug sa convenience outlet. Okay, just the picture. We have the flash type outlet and we have the surface type. Same with the switch. Wala lang siya hanging. Wala yung hanging uh, outlet. Pwede rin po ang outlet yung ibita eh. So, hanging outlet lang siya. Okay, next we have the receptacles or the bulb socket, a light bulb socket, light socket, lamp socket, or lamp holder. This is a device which mechanic- mechanically supports the and provides electrical connections for some compatible electric lamps. Sockets allow lamps to be safely and conveniently replaced. So, ang socket mo niya ang butanganin sa suga para masayo ang pag-ilis okay, or pagtaaw sa suga. We will use receptacles or light bulb socket. Okay, muna mga picture. We have the ceiling socket. Kaya nang sakisang yung ibutang. And we also have the hanging socket. Kaya mga rubber sockets, hanging socket. So, muna siya ang iyang function. So, in short, nga na ito i-attach ang bulb, light bulb. Next, we have the electrical boxes. An enclosure housing housing the electrical connections that protect the electrical connections 
from the weather as well as to prevent people from accidental electric shocks. So, ang electrical boxes mo na siya ang magtago sa mga connection sa wire. Uh, we have these different types of uh, boxes. We have the square box. Square na siya purma. We also have the junction box that is octagonal ang yung shape. And we also have this utility box that is rectangular box. Rectangular shape na box. Okay, again, yan haibutang ang mga connections, ang mga sinumpayan, ang mga isply, mga displays yung mga wires, and then para matago siya. Dili siya ma-expose para walay makurintihan. Okay, next we have the raceways. So, raceways are enclosed conduits that form a physical pathway for electrical wiring that protect wire and cables from heat, humidity, corrosion, water intrusion, and general physical threats. So, we have the conduit pipe, a tubo, and we have this flexible hose. So, hose, we have this hose yung gamiton, pwede plastic, pwede metal, and we have this plastic molding. Okay, muna yung mga raceways. Ang sama niya yung raceways, nganha, muagi ang mga wire. Dili kayo nganha, muagi ang mga mag-race. Okay, nganha, muagi ang mga wire, atong isulod, atong enclosed dia sa mga raceways, kay para, dili siya ma-expose, dili siya ma-samad, siya sa sulod sa mga atong mga raceways the conduit pipe the flexible hose or the plastic molding next we have the wires so a flexible metallic conductors especially one made of copper is well insulated and used to carry electric current in a circuit so walay mahitabo nga kurente kung walay wire so dapat naiwire kaya nga naman nga tumuflow ang electricity so, that's a vital a vital component of an electrical installation. Dapat na i-wire. Oh, walay, walay suga karoon niya wireless. Uh, walay, sak, walay extension wire karoon niya wireless. So, bisag wireless na ang wifi, wireless na ang mga signal. Okay, pero ang atong mga devices sa balay, uh, mostly, they are wired. So, gamit na siya ang mga wires. So, we have these different types of wires. We have the TW, and then, nasa duha nga uh, duhang klase solid ay kanang buo ang iyang copper and we also have the stranded oh, kanang na ay composed of strands yeah. muna kita ko siya nga stranded kay composed of strands okay we also have this PDX wire so PDX wire muna kasagaran gamitin sa mga kahoy nga balay or mga dili concrete and then gamitan na siya og staple pag attach whereas ang TW wire gamitan siya og flexible hose or it could be molding, plastic molding. Next, we also have the royal cord. Royal cord, manis lang mga ang mga cord, nga na itag upat, tag lima, ka uh, different assorted colors. O, kasi garang gamitin niya sa mga building machines o sa mga barko, nga mga linya, mga waterproofing. Mga waterproof nga linya kanay pamutang sa ilam sa tubig. So, they are using royal cord. Kaya mas safe ang yung insulation, dili, ma, dili mo leak ang electricity. Okay, next we have the bulbs. An electric bulb re refers to an electric lamp which consists of translucent or transparent glass housing or refers to the device which works light and the application of electricity. In short, ang light bulbs mo siya ang mag hatag og kahayag. Okay, the one of the vital component of an electrical installation is bulb. Dapat na ibumbilya. Kaya kung nag-istar ka nga naon niya, wala ibumbilya, yun sila sa ratanan. Paggabi, ingit -ngit. So, dapat na eye bulbs. So, we have this. I will introduce to you the three types of bulbs. We have the LED. Uh, very common to us. Kanang niya panahon. Then, we also have the CFL. Katong gisundan sa LED. CFL siya. So, fluorescent bulb. And then, ang traditional is incandescent lab. Okay. Init ni siya. Kung muna yung mga mabibilya sa una nga, pwede ka mapasok. Ang tawag na is incandescent lab. Oh, which is more efficient. Asa may mas efficient na yung tulo. Mas efficient ang LED. Kaya energy saver siya. Not like the incandescent is mas kusun siya mo init, mas paspas siya mo consume o electricity. Ang CFL, uh, kasagaraan ni Karan kay mga, uh, di naman mga CFL, LED naman. CFL mo na siya ang, ang, ang mini version of the fluorescent lamp ni Agapito Flores or ni, or ni, uh, Thomas Edison. Okay, give me some mobilia. Okay, now it's your turn. 
Ayan yun ang turn. I'm going to flash uh, different pictures. Uh, itong gidiscuss na. Ang yung flash ang pictures. And you're going to name it. So, yung pangalan. So, you will write your answer in your activity sheets. So, direction. Name the picture shown in the slide. And write your answer in your activity sheets. Be honest. Basig na mo balik ito ha. Mag-review. So, be honest. So, kung wala kay answer, so, ayaw, answer it. Okay? So, first picture, number one. Okay, yun. Saan mo ni siya? Okay, gimensyo na ganina. Okay, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, number two. What's this? Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Number three. Okay, what's this? Very familiar, very common. Make sure to write the exact term uh, based on our discussion. Okay, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, number four. Number four, very familiar. We mentioned it earlier. Okay, this one of that type of raceway. Raceways. Be particular. Five seconds starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's visit number five. Number five, very common. Very common in household. What's this? What's the name of this device? Of this material? Five seconds starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's proceed to number six. What's this? Very common. We found this one in our homes. In our electrical station at home. This one of the main switches. What we call this one? Again, the specific term. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's proceed to number seven. Very familiar. It's a tool used to twist, bend, cut. Okay, make sure to write the specific term. It's number seven. This tool is a vital, a vital uh, part in in an electrical station. Vital tool of electrician. Five seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Let's proceed to number eight. Ha, very familiar. Number eight, what's this picture? What's this too? Used to cut metal. Pwede siya pang cut sa metal. That's number eight. Number nine. Okay, this is a box. Number nine. What's the what's what is this material? Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Number ten. Last item. It is used to protect you from falling. Adili ka mahulog sa mga isuot. That is number ten. Okay. End of the discussion. Okay, so how was your experience watching the video? Hope that you learned something valuable. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me in my Facebook page. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Teacher Joven, for more videos like this. Till the next episode, goodbye.